What's good, Phenoms? I am finally here. What are you doing? No, no, wait a minute. We're here with a reaction video, all right? We're going to go ahead and react to the My Strange Addiction you haven't done this compilation. Before. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get to it. My name's Teresa. I'm 44 years old. I live in Bedford, Virginia. Pretty day today. And I'm addicted to eating rocks. I don't think I would be able to function every day if I didn't eat some quantity of rock. Teresa has been addicted to eating rocks for more than 20 years. She was initially attracted to the earthy smell. I was just out walking one day. I had no intention of biting into it or chewing it, but I did, and once I did that, I was hooked on them. Now, Teresa can't go more than a few hours without eating rocks. It's the grittiness of it and the earthy taste. I actually like how it feels on my teeth when I'm crunching them up. My name is Gloria. I'm 28 years old, and my addiction is bleach. I love bleach a lot. I ain't gonna say I love more than I love myself, but I do love bleach. <laughs> I don't consider myself a germaphobe. I'm not afraid of dirt. I'm not afraid of germs. I just like the feel of bleach. Every day, Gloria cleans her house top to bottom with bleach. She goes through more than 300 gallons every year. Bleach has ruined her clothes and damaged furniture, but Gloria refuses to stop cleaning with it. And I go and I wipe like my tables down, my stairwell down with it, cleaning the bathroom with it, my toilets, my sink, the tub in the kitchen. I clean my stove with it, my countertop, refrigerator. There's been times where I walked in the house and bleach, the bleach smell just slapped me in the face. Gloria's addiction to bleach began seven years ago while she was pregnant with her third child. When I was pregnant, I used to take pieces of tissue and dip, dip them in bleach and take them like pills. But my nutritionist and doctor, they, they made me stop doing it. And, and I thought it was just because I was pregnant and it will go away. But Gloria's bleach addiction didn't go away, and she's even taken it a step further. Every morning, Gloria now adds bleach to her bath water. Every time I take a shower and or a bath, I have to use bleach. I have to use it. I first run the water, then I take the bleach and I pour it in a tub. It's not a certain amount that I use, I just pour until I feel like it's enough. When I stay too long, my eyes have burned and my skin have tingles, so that lets me know that it's time to get out. I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> I'm, Nathaniel, I'm 27 years old, and I'm in a serious relationship with my car. Um. Nathaniel is in a this committed is relationship hell. with a car this is fake that he's hell. named Chase. He met Chase in a resale lot about five years ago. Okay, cool, Teresa's favorite type of rock is a mixture of several minerals, including granite. She uses a hammer to break them up into bite-sized pieces. This is about the size I like it because um, it's not as hard to swallow. I would normally take a piece like this and normally just put it in my mouth or bite on it or just put the whole piece in my mouth. And These are your people. And get the earthy taste off of it. These are your people. My name is Jesse Campbell and I'm addicted to Minecraft. I started playing okay. Minecraft when I was this seven years old. Yeah. I asked my mom if I could buy it. She said no, so I stole her credit card. You know, they say if you practice in real life, you get better in game. I think it's working. He's just a really nerdy kid. He's obsessed with the game. Oh shit! I don't see how being addicted to Minecraft is actually a bad thing. You know, it's it's a really great game. I loved playing it. Anybody loves it. You know. <laughs> There's tons of servers to go on. My name is Heather. I'm 43, mom of two beautiful children, and I'm addicted to drinking paint. 
as it's going down your throat, it feels very nice and warm, almost like a thicker version of warm milk, but obviously it's got that very strong chemical taste to it, which is perfect for me. Nah, got to love at first sight. His body and his interior and everything just together just seemed to fit. I just felt an instant connection. Is he coming out? Nathaniel's obsession first developed as a teenager when he would build model cars. But he didn't find true love until he met Chase. Oh, step by here. Just because the subtle lines and curves. I'll give him a kiss here. And just kind of caress it down side. Oh, I'm messing up the mic. We're about to have all type of mic problems. But I just absolutely love Chase. We always have His name is Chase. Together. He likes a lot of the same music I do. But we have a favorite song. It's uh, Can't Fight This Feeling by Ario Speedwagon. I do get in guess how you buy something for your fiance or your wife. And then, when it's your first birthday, I try to do something special for him too. The favorite date would be going to the lookout area. Just lean against him a little and just be with him mainly. Love you. Why'd you have to make... But Nathaniel's relationship with Chase goes that's beyond that's dates that's and presents. We have our times when we get sexual. What's that feel good? You're a handsome man. Mm. Love you, baby. What we do the most often is I like to lean over his fender and across his hood and uh, do little things like that. And uh, you messed up the screen. Oh, R2, R2, R2. L2, L2, L2. I've never done this before. One of his more bold positions is for me to be in. Can we? Him. He really likes that. I am worried for my Let's family get back because to it's not normal. And you may have people that don't understand and make fun Who of Who understands you. this? Nathaniel's so attached to Chase, he rarely lets anyone else drive him and never lets Chase out of his sight for more than 24 hours. There have been times it brought tears to my eyes because I wasn't with him at work. His picture's on my desktop, so I see his face all the time. It really bothers me when he gets dinged or scratched. Today, Nathaniel has decided to reveal everything to his father. Nathaniel asked me to come up here. Basically, he had something that he wanted to tell me. I don't know exactly what it's about, but I'd like to know uh, what's going on in his life. Yeah, uh, there's something pretty important I want to talk to you about. All right. Um, I'm, uh, I'm just going to come out and say it, I guess. I'm in an uh, intimate relationship with Chase, um, sexually and emotionally. You're in an intimate relationship with your car? Yes. And sexually with your car? Yes. It's your car? Yes. How does I don't how does that how does work? That work? How can you have sex with a car? Mainly it's just a lot of just rubbing up against him. Um, okay. Um, certain and it involves masturbating as well. <laughs> what? What did he just say? What did he say? What did he say? I missed it. What did he say? You heard the rubbing part? Yes. He masturbates too to the car. Yeah, us white people are idiots, guys. We don't know what we're doing with life. <laughs> well, at least you didn't do nothing that could kill you. <laughs> oh, you didn't do nothing that could kill you this time. What the hell? Ooh, rednecks. Rednecks. That seemed like a clickable one. Well, guys, that is our reaction for the day. Um, and I, this may be the last reaction I ever do. Cause, uh, I'm terrible at it. No, you did fine. It's my fiance. I messed up the screen. <laughs> no, it was for a little bit. It was enough of that anyway. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, catch y'all later because uh, I don't know how I'm feeling right How you feeling? I don't know why the majority of the video was about the man in his car. This has got to be scripted, but for... Um, for them to even think of these ideas, all power to them. Uh, vlogs will be coming, I guess. It was suggested by her, and uh, some more special stuff is coming uh, to this channel. I know I ain't uploaded in a while. 
came back from vacation, getting back into work mode and stuff like that. So, uh, this is it. This is what we starting to do. Uh, and then, uh, 2K content sooner or later. We shall see. So, y'all go ahead and, uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'll try and get a reaction out at least once, once a day if I can. Um, it's going to be a little rough this week and next week, huh? Gonna be rough next week. Man. Gonna be rough next week uh, to get them, get them out. But uh, uh, you guys go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and we'll be coming out with some more stuff. Maybe some more energy. But that that kind of took the soul out of me. <laughs> that took the soul out of me. All right, guys. See y'all later. All right.